What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to uh, The Forest. So, I'm really glad you guys are excited uh, that The Forest is back and you want to see more. So, let's make some more forest videos. Now, what are we going to do today? Well, I've been wanting to make pathways. Okay, I've been wanting to make pathways for, uh, you know, quite a while now. But there's a problem with pathways, or so I thought. The problem I thought with pathways was that they can't be destroyed. Um, if you make a pathway, you can't, like, take it out with an axe or anything. But there is a way to destroy pathways. And now that I know of a way to destroy pathways, I'll be happy to start making some. So, the idea with the pathways is... And pathways are so cool in this game, guys. Like, if you don't know... If you've never seen these before, get ready for a treat. These things are dope AF, okay? So, the idea with pathways is... I'm going to have one here. It's going to be going out here... It's going to turn right here, it's going to keep going over here, turn left here, and then it's going to continue going out, um, probably to the entranceway. I might even have to go to all three entranceways. I'm not really sure about that yet, and the reason I'm not sure about that, and the reason I was hesitant to deal with pathways, is because I'm going to be doing more buildings in here. I need to make a farm, and, well, actually, I guess just a farm. I don't know what else I would make in here besides a farm at this point. We've got storage, we've got rabbits. We've got bedroom and armory. Yeah, it'll probably be just a farm. Anyway, I want to be able to make more stuff in here and have the pathways go where I want them to go. But because I couldn't destroy them, I was like, well, I guess I'll just wait until everything's built. That's going to take forever. And I want pathways. So now we can make pathways because I found out uh, from a post on Steam from like 2018. So God knows how long this has been out. Uh, you, could destroy <laughs> you could destroy pathways with the hole cutter tool. Um, I've already tried it. Uh, I tried it before the episode. Just trust me, you can do it. Uh, you know, you just use the hole cutter tool, you put it over the pathway, the pathway will light up, you use the hole, hole cutter tool, and it will destroy the pathway. It's freaking dope. I think you can use it to destroy these as well, uh, you, you know, in case you have like, um, I don't know why you would need to do that. Uh, well, so actually, I've had a couple, one time I had a log slide go like under my base and I couldn't quite reach it to destroy it, but I could with the hole puncher, so I, yeah, I mean, it has its uses. That's for damn sure. That is freaking awesome. I have been gathering uh, stone all morning, and we're just going to... I keep eating mushrooms by mistake. I'm just going to kind of move this out of the way. My rabbits are reproducing. Uh, there was one baby during the night, which is awesome, and I moved it into its own pen. So uh, I also went and caught some more fish. Fish are awesome. I mean, fish are the best way to go. I used to catch... Uh, I used to catch um, deer, right? But deer, you know, you got to go find them and chase them around and stuff. Like the, the, the fish are right there. Where are they going to go? <laughs> they're in a tiny pond. They ain't going to go anywhere. They're just like sitting fish ducks. They're, fi they're sitting ducks, but fish. Um, so yeah, the fish are going to hold me over until the rabbits start reproducing enough to where I can slaughter them. And also someone told me if you pick up a rabbit, don't use it as a weapon because it won't end well for the rabbit. And I was wondering, well, how do I kill rabbits? Like, if I let's say I wanted to slaughter a rabbit, do I just put it on the ground and try and hit it? If I put it on the ground, it's going to start running away, right? But someone said you could use it as a weapon, so <laughs> I just, I, I don't know if this will work, but I think I can take a rabbit and just bash his head on a tree. <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to it, I'm not going to lie. All right, so it's going to be one of those days, huh? Uh, apparently, yes. All right, so let's have this thing come out of here. I don't think I need to move this tree. I'm keeping my trees up inside uh, the base, and like I said, I mentioned this last episode, full disclosure, when I cut down trees, I'm just, I'm, t I'm turning off building destruction. I just don't want to deal with it. It's just a headache to try and make sure the tree's going in the right, the right I, I can't stand it. And what I do is, I just save the game beforehand and just reload if something gets destroyed. So it's not even like I'm like going to destroy anything anyway, it's just a waste of time. Uh, so whenever I cut down trees, I just turn on, I turn on, I turn off destruction mode, that way I don't have to worry about cutting down trees. And the cool thing is, I can now leave more trees up in my base, which is pretty cool. Like, usually I would clear all the trees out of my base because once I start building, I don't want to take the, you know, I don't want to worry about them destroying my buildings. But now I can leave some trees up and, you know, we'll have a we'll have a better looking base and that will be awesome. And I'm going to tell you, uh, I kind of like keeping this, the destruction thing off because it allows me to work here without having to worry about the um, the cannibals out there. Like, right, the way it is right now, and I'm, I'm going to keep destruction on it because I feel like it's more of a challenge. But, but, what's the point of a wall if every time the cannibals come in, you just have to go beat them off the wall anyway? Well, I think once I make, a, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like an elevated walkway behind the wall. And once I do that, I could just go from the top of the wall and hit them with arrows. It won't be that big of a deal. But right now, I have to go out there and fight them anyway. I mean, it is nice not to have them running up on me and I can go fight them 
like where I want when I want. But I, I gotta be honest, playing with destruction mode off, um, I'm kind of enjoying my peaceful building time in here. And it's not like this wall was cheap, you know? So it's not like, oh, it's too e it's so easy because you just built the wall. Yeah, it took a long time to build that wall. I had a lot of work went into that wall, but I'm gonna leave destruction on. But I gotta be honest, I'm having a lot more fun with destruction off than I thought I was going to. All right, let's go ahead and start the walkway, the pathway. All right, so we're gonna put this right here. All right, and this will go up to about, I guess, here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, right about here. Okay, and I'm also going to build this path. Usually with the pathway, I would just build it all in one big pathway. Uh, but with the hole cutter tool, uh, I'm going to build it in, like, segments. Because um, I think it'll be better uh, that way. Here, let me show you the hole cutter really quick. I won't destroy it, but... It might actually it's not really fully built, so it might not matter, but it might change color. I'm not really sure Yeah, it's not gonna do anything until it's built. No, whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll mess around I'm not gonna destroy it when it's built, but I'll kind of show you how the colors change. It's pretty cool All right, so now that we have that there now we need to make This go this way now you see I like I think this will be good to come up here Just about right here Uh, come on. Yeah, see. I don't really like the way the rocks are setting up. Okay, let me try this again. Uh, how do I get rid of this? Uh, C. Okay. Let's try that again. These things are a little bit tricky, because, like, a lot of times the rocks will, like, leave too much room and it doesn't, like, quite look good. Uh, I think that looks pretty good right there. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll have this one go this way. Works for me. And I do want one to go that way as well. But does it need to go there from here? Yeah, I think it should. Yeah, okay, then we'll have this one go this way. And we're not going to go too far with that right now. This is going to end up coming around over here and going to that, that entrance. I won't do it right now. Um, will we do it today? I don't know. Depends on how many... Uh, how many. These things are really expensive with the stones. So we'll see. All right. And then this one can go right through here. And that can go right up to the entrance. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... How about right here? Let's get this out of the way. And then... Oh, boy. Um, no, that's not really going to work. Well, kind of well. You know what we could do? We could have this go this way. And then, I don't know why I'm not holding down control to keep the, the ghost image up. Ah, uh, see, that's not, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. So, I think we're going to have this go this way. All right. And uh, right about there. And then, yeah, see, we got to delete this one anyway. So, that keeping up the ghost image there is a waste of time. All right. And then we're going to have this one. Go this way. All right, so let's take a look at that now. All right, so we got the um, the main building here. Uh, this thing, do I want an entranceway going to here? Is Am I going to keep this up once this is built? I don't think I am. I don't... I mean, it is nice to have an extra place to go in case of, like, problems. Um, so I'm not really sure if I want to have that. Well, you know what? Yeah, never mind. See, this is why I don't want to build the pet I don't want to build the rock walkways until I know where things are gonna go because things like change, you know. All right, so um, yes. Yeah, so how is this gonna work? All right, through some trial and error, I got something I think is gonna work. I just have to go ahead and build it. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go check on my rabbits, kid, is because it is early in the morning. So let's take a look. Two, two, two. Man, you guys aren't like having babies. I gotta put on some berry white or something. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Alright. So there's one for you. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, <clears throat> two more rabbits. And we will be full. Alright, let's go ahead and chat down on some blueberries. Alright. I'll also take a fish for later because this should be nice and dry by now. Uh, yep, dried fish. Cool. Okay, so... I couldn't quite... Basically what I wanted was I wanted this to come out of here and go this way. Like I had set up. And then... But I also wanted it to go this way. Because I think it'd be pretty cool to have like a pathway coming down here. 
Uh, the thing is, that wouldn't work unless there's a four-way, a four-way area. One, two, three, four. So we could go this way as well. That'll be fine, and that will allow us to build the way we want over here. Uh, this gonna be a little tricky, though. Uh, can I do it here? No, I can't do it there. Yeah, this is gonna be a little tricky either way. I, I'm, I want to keep that. Um, I want to keep that that. Uh, a treehouse up there as for emergencies. It's a, it's a legacy item, right? All right, and then we'll do that. It's not perfect, but it's now well, actually no, that's a real, that's kind of a problem. Eh, it's kind of a problem for me. All right, let's see if we could do this better. All right, uh, you know what? We're probably gonna have to get rid of this as well. There we go. And then we have the treehouse over there, but I think I like this one. I think I'm gonna keep it here. Who knows, though? I may change my mind. You never know. Wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last. Alright, so like that. And like that. Alright, that's gonna be a little bit of a problem because of the way that's coming out. Um, like, right here, I won't be able to, like, really connect these very well. Let me see if there's something I can do with this. Um, let me do this. Now... No, this would have to come here, and then I have to connect that. All right, let's do this first and see if we can work this out. All right, so it's got to come right up to there. All right. Uh, there we go. And connect up to here. Oh, yeah, there's, there is going to be one going that way. All right, so that's got to be right about there. Yeah, that should work. Let's see. These are probably going to be too far. Oh, no, they're actually... uh. Not bad. All right, and then that'll go that way. Okay. Yeah, that's all looking pretty good, except for this. Uh, <laughs> and I don't really have a, a good option for this. What they need to do, and they'll never do it because this game's in full release, but what they need to do is give you a rock path that's only one side. Because without that, I don't really see um, much I could do here. Because if I do this, it kind of blocks over there. Um, I could do this, but that, that'll block... No, that doesn't work either. Um, I could do this, which would be pretty cool, but then we have this here doing nothing. And I can't break these rocks out. If I break these rocks out, the whole thing comes out. So I don't have a good solution for this. So I did the best of what I had, and this is what I got going on right now. Come out here. This can go over here. I'm not sure where this will go, but I could probably make that go somewhere. Oh, I could probably go to the other door. Honestly, it's almost lined up with the other door. So, yeah, that wouldn't be that bad. And then over here, I just simply have to go around the tree and then come down here. I would have liked it to kind of, like, gone along the edge here, but that's okay. It's it's still pretty cool. I, I, it's not that bad. Uh, let me go ahead and grab this and this and this. Let's go ahead and eat a fish. Okay. All right, then we come up here. Uh, this, you already know, goes up there. This is going to go to the other door. And then this goes... I'm not sure... What's going to go where up here? I don't really like this one either. Let's, um, let's take this one out and redo this one. It's a little too, it's a little bit too far towards the, um, uh, the fence. So I'm thinking more like this. Yeah, that works for me. I might actually redo this one too. Yeah, let's redo this one really quick. I'm not sure where this one's gonna go, but it, it sucks because unless you're going unless you're going two ways, you can't go through three ways with these. At least not very easily, um, and still keep like, you know, make it look good. So it's a little tricky, that's for sure. Okay, that works. All right, you know what? Why don't we? Oh man, Ugh. you see that like big gap right there? That's not, that's not gonna work for me. Let's try this again. Okay, and there we go, and do I want this, to, I, I kind of want this to go this way, there's another gap there, see, it's the way the angles work, you're going to have a gap somewhere, Ugh, two gaps, alright, whatever, I'm going to have to let it go, I'm going to have to let it go, can't make everything perfect, what are you going to do, alright, let's start building this up, uh, before we build it though, I would like to save thy game, yeah, I get that, like, gut instinct in me, that, like, survival, early access survival instinct in me. No, it's not about survival, like, living. It's a it's an instinct of where, if I'm about to build something big, save the game. You know? 
It's, uh, it's probably one of my most strongest instincts while playing these games. Okay, let's just go this way. Alright, we should have a lot of stone in here. 9, 10. Cool thing is this will get rid of the grass uh, when you build these things out. Oh, because there's none in the middle. The grass is going to be in the middle, see? Oh, boy. Uh -huh. This is becoming a lot more difficult than I intend intended. Oh, never mind. Grass is gone. Now, the grass isn't gone right here. There's really not much I can do about that, though. Yeah, that's working. Working for me. All right, I got another uh, couple. Oh, yeah. I don't know how they're getting in. <laughs> they didn't destroy my wall, so I'm not sure how they're getting in, but these... Uh, these pieces of crap are getting in. Some people are saying that, like, I have, like, um, trees that are close, close to my walls. Uh, I think in the morning, it looks like it's going to be nighttime soon. I think in the morning we'll go check that out because, I, I don't know, they, they don't seem that close to the walls. But, I don't know, maybe they are. Who knows? All right, let's continue with this. Thought I heard something. Yeah, I definitely heard something. That's okay. We will ignore it. It'll go away, hopefully. I've had them beating on my walls, and I go over there, like, to, to, you know, defeat them and, like, repair my walls. And the thing is, like, they don't do a lot of damage. I mean, I want to ignore them. The problem is you might think, well, Cage, if they break your wall down, just rebuild it. What's the big deal? Yeah, you're right. It's not really that big of a deal, except for the fact that when you build the walls, if they're not ghost images, they don't go into each other properly. M131, my color of choice when it's, uh, when it's getting dark out. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some more of these. The only thing I like about M131 is you, you don't get a sense of when it's really nighttime. And in this game, it's really important to go to sleep at the proper time because you can only sleep at certain times. So if you don't go to sleep at the proper time, what's going to happen is you're going to get out. Your sleep schedule is going to get screwed. And when it's nighttime, you won't be able to go to sleep. You know, like maybe you'll go to be, be able to go to sleep at midnight or whatever. And like, it just, it's just, it's a vicious cycle, man. You know, you just don't want to, you don't want to deal with that. Alright, here we go. Let's grab some more stone. More stone, please. See, do, you see how these walkways are badass? Like, the way it gets rid of all the grass and everything? I freaking love them. It's one of my favorite things about this game. I just don't know about this. I might break that stick thing out and redo it at some point. We'll see. I don't love where it is. Kind of came out a little bit farther than I'd like for this kind of build. All right, it's got to be close to going to bed. Let me uh, let me get some another sled of stones um, back to the base, and then I'm gonna turn off M131, and then I can always tell by the look of the sky exactly when it's time to go to bed. So let's go ahead and turn this back to normal, and it's not quite time yet. Not quite time, but we're pretty close. It's almost bedtime. Oh shit, I just heard a mutant. I do not want to fight mutants um, during the night. So let's go to sleep. And if the mutant's still there, I will go out and fight him. But I do not want to fight him uh, in the nighttime. That was scary. I hate that sound. Uh, by the way, I wanted to show you guys, but I didn't get a chance. Uh, the, be the best way to collect stone is during the night. So I was going to show you, but then I heard the mutant. I was like, okay, well, that's not going to work for me. There we go. One, two, 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 two. Two, two, two. I wonder if there's a certain amount of rabbits. Like, I wonder, I'm thinking all the rabbits you have captured all count when the game's deciding if they're going to reproduce or not. Let's say you have two rabbits and there's a certain percentage chance they're going to reproduce. Now let's say you have 12 rabbits. Um, I'm thinking that they nerf the chance that they're going to reproduce so you, you can't just produce rabbits at the kind of pace I'm trying to. I'm starting to wonder, you know? Uh, wait, is that one dry? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm starting to think that they nerf it. So if you have, like, 24 rabbits, you're not going to be able to just mass-produce rabbits. Um, because, like, let's say you have six rabbits, and there's, like, a 10% chance that they're going to reproduce. And then you have, like, you know... 12 rabbits, and there's a 10% chance they're going to reproduce. I think that lowers the, I think that lowers the chance because I'm not seeing these rabbits produce. Like, I, I, what I'm thinking is only a certain amount of rabbits can produce per day. So, like, you know, maybe two rabbits can produce per day. So if you have two rabbits, you know, there's a pretty high chance they might reproduce. But if you have 12 rabbits, there's a lesser chance that they're going to reproduce because you can only have so many anyway. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah, I'm starting to think that because I'm not really like I figured at this point I'd be getting a lot of rabbits. You know, like I figured, okay, you know, we should really be getting a lot of rabbits here, and we're not. So kind of sucks to be honest. Um, but I, I get it. They don't want you to just get a bunch of rabbits and be able to sustain yourself off rabbits forever, I guess. But isn't that kind of what animal husbandry is all about? You know, I don't know. Maybe there's maybe it's like maybe it's one of those things where they they don't mind it being less realistic if it's more fun. And like if you just had a bunch of rabbits and you, you didn't have to leave your base or anything, then they consider that less fun. I consider it fun. I, it's called self self sustainability. It's called thriving, and that's kind of what I go for in these games. Oh, also, can I actually put more rock paths when a rock path's already done? Yes. See, these ghost images can go inside of regular, regular, you know, pre-built things or fully built things. If you try and do that with a wall, the ghost image of a wall uh, with the with the regular wall, they they will not go inside of each other, and they really, really should. Okay, ten here. Yeah, I love these pathways. They're the best. The best. They're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep them down. That's right. Come on. There you go. Grab that. Finish this. I will probably put lights along these paths. and I should probably do that now. Rather than later. But let's just finish up what we got first. And then we'll consider lights. I'll probably put lights like, um... I don't know. Ra probably random spots. Like, but like... Definitely corners. I like the I like lights at corners. I don't know why. I just feel, I don't have any reason to think that that's you know cool a better way of doing things. I just like doing it that way. So we definitely start at the lights of all the corners. Then we'll see. Like if there's like you see how these corners are here. I put a light on all four of these corners, and then this this little pathway here doesn't need any more lights because I'm going to put more lights at this corner. But if I have a long pathway, like let's say I have some lights at this corner. And this pathway goes all the way over here. Then I'll put lights along the pathway. So I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm kind of torn about the trees at this point. I like the trees for two reasons. I like the trees, number one, because they give the place a little bit of, um, a little bit of character. You know, the trees kind of, I, I don't know. It gives it a little bit of, um, I, I'm not sure how to place it. I like the trees being here. I'm not sure how to explain why. Uh, so I do like them from a, from an aesthetic standpoint. More importantly, um, I like the trees inside here because I can cut down trees for wood to craft more parts of my base, uh, which is really the most important thing, right? Here's the reason I don't like the trees. The freaking shade is just killing me. Like, it's just killing me. It's going to make it so hard to get screenshots. <laughs> I, know, I know it's like, ah, oh, who cares, screenshots, whatever. But, you know, I like to get people to watch my videos, so the screenshots are very important. Um, the thumbnails are, you know, really important if people are going to watch my videos. So it, it is a big deal to me, um, but I'll probably leave the trees because the ability to get all that, all those logs more efficiently outweighs the, um, the screenshot issues. But yeah, it's kind of, mm. ah, why can't I just have it all? All right, right there, right there, turn this one this way. There and there. We'll just do these for now. These really don't give a lot of light, unfortunately. But the good thing about them is you don't have to, like, you know, uh, you don't have to relight them all the time. Uh, the standing fires are way better. I mean, way, way, way better. Uh, these, where are they? Uh, yeah, these standing fires are the shit. I mean, those things are awesome. The problem is you have to light them all the time, and I'm not, I don't want to deal with that. So. We'll just go with these. All right, let's go outside and see if we can get some skulls. And uh, I think we're off to a good start on the pathway. We got a lot done today. We got a lot done. Let's come out here and see what's what. Yep, yeah, this entire thing is set off. Wow. The bone zone's getting set off all the time. I'm not even there. Man, that is nuts. That is nuts. All right, let's go in there and see. I don't think I have that many skulls. Come on. Probably start burning bodies, I guess. Do we have any over here? We got two. No bodies? Yeah. The bodies disappeared. Yeah, I think next time I hear uh, cannibals, I'm going to have to come out here and, and and take care of business. As a matter of fact, let's put some sticks. Oh, I don't have any sticks on me. Never mind. 
Alright, let's go in there and do those, and then I think we're gonna call it a day. This this path I love the pathways. I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I am I overselling them? Are you what do you guys think? Are the path maybe I'll make a community poll. Are the pathways th the best thing ever? Pretty cool. I don't really care, or I hate them, and you know, you're overhyping them. I don't know. I think I got some skulls in here. Hold on. Two, three. And that's all the skulls I'm going to need. Dope. All right, we're going to need some more sticks as well. So let's grab some sticks. Someone was mentioning in the comment section after the last video, oh, you built in the best place in the map for sticks. So, you know, because I was building those rabbit rabbit cages. I was like, oh, yeah, it's a good point. So that was really good observation. I'm glad I built here. There we go. All right, guys. Um, pathway has definitely begun. And I've got a pathway going to every building I've made. So we made some good progress today. Definitely made some good progress. All right, guys, if you haven't enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.